Hey guys, so we're going to be doing a video over our trailer setup. We're getting ready to go on a long road trip, about 4,000 miles. And so we're just going to go over some of the security items we have and then the setup inside. So we just bought a brand new trailer. It was bare on the inside. So we have the locks that are placed on the latches. We also have a door that's on the other side for an access door. And it has an exterior lock that we have set up as well as some... Um, keys in a lock just for the actual latch so we have some more tools that are still in here and whatnot we did go over to harbor freight and we purchased this e-track system so we have the e-track system what i did is i measured the trailer it's a six foot wide by 16 foot long and so i measured two feet in from each side and that's where we put the e-track so we placed the e-tracks in here i have two of them on here uh, the reason why we put the spacing here is because i'm going to be loading up a motorcycle in here and i want to be able to distribute the weight evenly for the beginning of the trip we're going to put the bike right here in the middle and then uh, we're going to pick up some other items later and we're going to put that weight on the other side and put the bike on the other so it'll balance it out a little bit easier so we do have the e-track system the e-track system does come with a lot of different options as far as clips and whatnot go so this is one of the easiest ones I also picked up these at Harbor Freight and so they just clip right in place these have about a 3,000 uh, pound load limit I believe is what that packaging said and so that's what we're going to be using to secure most of our load and then I also purchased these from Harbor Freight it was a packet of two D rings here for about three bucks or so. So we just used some three quarter inch screws to go into that. So we put one at the beginning, the seven foot mark, and 14 foot mark. And so that's where we have just some of our D rings in there right now. Past that, after we start loading up our vehicle and stacking everything up, we're going to take these other D rings and we're going to place them on the wall as needed wherever it's going to fit best and then if we need to move these later we can still take them out put some wood filler in there and that's going to have it work we do have some ventilation system in here to help out with any fumes and to help keep it just a little bit cooler another option we did put on here as far as security wise goes is we did put a motion sensor alarm you can either do the chime or the alarm comes with the remote this is pointed right at our doors so whenever somebody opens them that is going to go off and then again as I was mentioning up here as I was mentioning up here we do have a door latch and we have keys for that so it's locked right now but you can also lock and unlock it from this rear side so that's some of the security options and cargo options that we're going to be doing to secure everything in place. We're going to use our cargo straps in addition to these E-Track rings and then the D-rings we've installed across the trailer to help keep that in place. Another thing that we just ordered which hasn't came in yet and again we do have another lock here and then you can see the where the keys would go to lock that uh, handle for that side access. Another thing we ordered but just hasn't arrived yet is we do have a lock for this latch right here. And so what's actually going to be um, the best system I could find is it has a ball on it and it'll go right up into the receiver slot and then it'll lock right over top of it so that nobody can stick. Because um, even if we lock this top latch, if somebody has a smaller ball, they might be able to put it in there and still haul it off a ways until they can get some... Uh, until they can get some bolt cutters or whatnot. So that's kind of how we have our trailer set up for now. We're probably going to be adding some more options, but that's how we're going to prep it for this trip. 